Momo, apparently, has joined our party. If we get into a fight, I will support you from the rear row. I don't want to get in your way up in front. Plus, if I'm directly behind you, I can prevent the enemy from pushing you back to the rear row with certain attacks like back toss. Affirmative. But if I guard myself from against attacks like back toss, I can prevent that from happening. Don't concern yourself with me. Concentrate on yourself. We must hurry. Let's go. So we do have yet another new party member. So now we have all four kinds of humans in the party. Uh, well, at least two separate parties. Maybe they'll merge eventually. Uh, we do have Momo here. Momo is mostly a mage. Uh, from what I remember, she's got life shot, heals, and heals an ally or an enemy. I don't know why you have to do that with an enemy, but heals somebody for mid, but only costs two ether points. Very nice. Then we have sheep beam, which puts uh, M enemy pilots to sleep. So anything uh, that is mech, we can use sheep beam on. I wonder what we'll be fighting first. In terms of tech attacks, Momo, of course, does have tech attacks. Does she not have anything for here? I can't set anything for afar? Huh, I didn't know she started that way. Or maybe I did and I forgot. Either way, uh, Star Strike and Floral Tempest. Oh, she's a mean one. She will hit you with flowers. She'll do it. Don't, don't you question her own skills. I don't think, you know, we, we could extract some stuff, but of course we can't do anything just yet. Everything for her is set. In terms of equipment, what does she come with? She comes with a battle rod, metalware, protector. Uh, yeah, she hits people with rods. Uh, <laughs> only does like plus three. Typical self-defense scepter. Is there even such a thing? Uh, metalware, plus eight. Uh, pretty much every character has, has a special uh, armor that only they can wear. Well, as you might expect, we don't even have a like a second of anything yet. We have a reality and a cyborg, an android, and a human. Um, armor for arms is so physical defense plus two, and then a gray ring for another physical defense plus two. But I do believe that Ziggurat <laughs> Ziggurat Eight here has uh, enough to use one of these. So I'm going to give him scope. Um, simply because I think that is useful now and we'll set that up so that he has that on at all times so we can start seeing HP once again I don't mind waiting for that one uh, but it is nice to, to finally get that upgrade and how much do I need to upgrade 200 so we're about halfway there for tech points with Ziggurat here and we will sorry Ziggurat 8 I have to use his full name and then we can upgrade probably Lightning Fist because it is the distance attack and that's what I typically like to upgrade. So let's head over to the left cell here and we get a speed stim, which I think is used in battle. I hope that siren isn't too loud. Speed stim. Yeah, one ally increases speed 25% at in a battle. Only in a battle. Maybe regular stim which is physical attack up by 25% I've also been picking up scrap irons uh, which are barter items which means you sell them and I think that is it yes that is all that I have so far so let us go in here and here we can see the giant save point which I will use biosphere at and save in all saved and rested let's get out of here I Kind of disturbs me that you can't just rest in one of those. Oh, yeah, don't want to go down there. In one of those cots, but you know what are you gonna do? It is time now to take on this guy. We've avoided him before. We're not going to avoid him. Now. I have not set up the party the way that people tell ever always say to. But that is fine. Uh, we're gonna use either with Momo. You're supposed to put Momo directly behind Ziggurat 8, uh, but I don't necessarily think I need to do that. Mercuria? Mercuria. I want to say Romeo and Juliet, like Romeo's friend. I want to say that's right. Uh, actually, yeah, God, I, I should have done something else, though. Uh, can I, yeah, move? 
I move? No, I should leave him in the back. Just guard. Now it's your turn. Lightning fast. As you can see, we're not doing very much damage to him at all. Lightning fist, though. That should do a little bit of damage. You don't have to take on this guy, from what I remember. We can avoid him, but I want to fight him. I want to. Um, God, see, this is why I want to move. Yeah, we're moving you, Momo. You're, you're going to start doing some fighting. And you're going to just do that and end. Momo gets her full, full turn. So, of course, we need to be up close in order to do anything. So let's go for Stardust. Yeah, just bonk it on the head. Dream Whirl. Floral Tempest. It did a little bit of damage. But the anti-lightning shield has been destroyed. And that is... Is important. Now it is your turn. 521? I don't think we're going to be able to do that. <laughs> Not if we just do that a little amount every time. 70! Not even close. Not even close. So, now let's do Twin Stars. We'll show off her other one. Oh, I forgot. I, I need to... Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, you go ahead and... No, wait. Just do a high kick and then back off. That way you can get your turn next. And you need to use an ether. This is why she's supposed to be in the back row at all times. Heal him. Now, hopefully, her being in the front row, she won't get targeted and killed. But that is a distinct possibility from time to time. Which is why he says leave her in the back row. But why are do a little bit of damage? You know, that would be somewhat productive from time to time. As you can see, he keeps on going for Ziggurat 8. So we'll do what we can. I'm trying so hard not to say his nickname. Okay do that. As you can see, using ethers does not up your boost gauge, which is kind of bad. I don't necessarily like it, but what are you going to do? Same thing. Oh, I should have gone in close. Alright, I don't need to heal him or her just yet, so let's go ahead and just guard. He can, he can survive. He can survive. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Twin stars. Star Strike. <laughs> Zero damage, but I, I I needed to show that off. You know I did needed to show that off. All right, she gets her turn now. Uh, 332, still not going to be enough to finish him off this time even with a lightning fist. I just don't have it leveled up enough. And that will boost him because he got his. And we should probably heal him now. How's that? Is that good? That's eh, good enough. And then you can go for a high kick and stop. Probably, you probably should defend, but you know, a little bit of damage in there is always good. Momo survives, which is very important for living. Let's go ahead and use a live shot on her. Like I said, this is all kind of optional at this point. You don't have to do it, but I'm doing it. This is this is something that I've trained my whole life for. By whole life, I mean, like, I think we're at the six and a half hour mark. Okay, let's go for Lightning Fist again. Let's go! It is a little upsetting that I can't do this for, with the regular physical attacks since they do seem to do more. If he gets a critical, that might be it from Momo here. That's not necessarily good. So, Ethan, it's you. Mr. Powers. Yes, grant you a miracle to survive through all of this. We're getting so close. No, I still want to do the regular attack. Okay, so 
We know that. Ah. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. What was I thinking? Oh, miss! What now, dick? Uh, let's go ahead and I need to guard with her. In order to do any damage with her, I need to guard. It's so weird. Uh, fine, let's show off BMP 55SX. Go! Yeah, not that great. Not that great. Of course, you're not really supposed to be taking on eggs anyway, but Mercurio must die. Melody Ray. Cosmic Flip. No, she does like a front handspring. Oh, it's Star Strike again. Damn it! That doesn't do anything. I wanted to do Floral Tempest again. Now, if I've timed this right, and I think I have, let's go for. I don't know. Melody Ray and stuff. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to do any damage to her anyway. If I've done this right, I should be able to finish him off 93. Ah, oh, crap. No, he's not charged up. Damn it. Ugh. Should have kept a boost just so I could do that. Okay. Uh, what was it again? And then Dream World? Yeah, Floral Tempest, go! Here I go! Floral Tempest! How much does that do again? Like, 40? Yeah, 40. We're getting so close here. Oh, no. No, we fought too long. We are getting the points. And we're gonna get it right now. Give me my point Let's upgrade. Go. This better finish him off. 74. Down he goes. Only points times two. Is to only think about oneself. Yeah, only think about yourself. That's the only way that you'll ever survive, I guess. He doesn't give that many points, but... I, I, I had fought long and hard. I was getting them. And we get a medkit S out of that. Very nice. I will take it. But we do get, more importantly, Decoder 4. Which is what I need to use in order to get down to... Wasn't it here? I swear it was here. Just let me double check because I'm not 100% sure on it. God, we have a lot of key items right now. Decoder 4. Pleroma is apparently where we are right now, and it's the path to the shrine on the second floor. So let's go ahead and get down there. I shouldn't need to heal. I could probably heal on my way back, no problem. Can I run across? I can run across. I just have to be a certain distance away from them. Okay, so let's head. Was it here? No, Dakota 4 was. No! Damn it! Ah, it's not through here. Get, I, I thought that the, the door that we couldn't go in before was segment address number four, but it's not. We need to head out this way. Okay. Back up through here. Climb up. Actually, now I should need to heal. So let me go do that. I'm so lost. I'll be right back. Saved, rested, yet again. I actually do need to go down here. I had to look up. I was like, do I get out the normal way? No. No, we go out uh, a creative way. I tried to go up before, but the game wouldn't let me. So we're going to do that this time. This time we need to go back into the monitoring room where there is not the segment address, but I'm not going to go back to get the segment address just yet. Uh, there will be other ways to get that. Idea. Find them. Is it, are, are you going to fight? No? No fight. She's just cuts it. Shut up! Do you Are have to... you a military realian? No, an ex-human. Ex-human? Ex-human? Yeah, that's kind of a weird a phrase. A cyborg. Cyborg. An ancient relic. I registered as an organ donor without giving it much thought, and they resurrected me after my death. That infamous life recycling act, right? Yeah. The Species Preservation Act came about thanks to the mess that old law caused. What the hell are they talking about? 
You still haven't told me your name. It's Ziggurat. Eight. Ziggurat? Eight? You're a real human, but your name sounds more like a model number. I know. How about I call you Ziggy instead? Z-I-G-G-Y. It's short for Ziggurat. <laughs> what? Oh, is that a little corgi? Oh, it's kind of cute. It's got to be a flashback. Oh, he had a son. Uh, I wanted to get you a real one if I could, but I just couldn't get one. Oh, no, it's great, Dad. He's so cute. Hey, Dad, what's his name? Did you give him one yet? Nexus 6. Nexus 6? That's his model number, isn't it? That makes him sound like a robot. Uh, yeah. I know. How about next? It's short for Nexus 6. What do you think? Huh, Dad? Yeah. That's a great name. Really? Come on, Nex. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, boy. <laughs> Did you trip already, kid? What the hell's your problem? So he saw his flashbacks. Sounds like a puppy's name. Hmm. What? No. Call me whatever you want. Okay, then Ziggy it is. He'll sound a lot more human now. Not really. Well, looks like they're gone. So yeah, you could go back to segment address four should you desire. Uh, we'll find another way to get there now. So let's press the button here. Operate the terminal. Yes. And we'll head out. You know, part of me is just like, let's go and get it now. I'm debating it. I'm debating it. You know what? I am going to go back and get segment address four. I'll just meet you there, though. So it'll be a little bit of a walk. Actually, check that, because should we try to go back the way that we were trying to go to get to segment address number four the way is blocked those guys aren't very accommodating they show no signs of moving they're quick too they're quick so I'll meet you back down there it's not that much of a walk anymore though back in the hallway so I was mistaken about segment address door number four is this already open Looks like it's already open. So let's head down here. This opens up after the cutscene. I don't know why it wouldn't open up before, but it was locked. Uh, but you know, they should have just had Ziggy. Now I can call him by his nickname. Hooray! Because that's how he's referred to in the rest of the game, more or less. Uh, Ziggy could have just said, oh, I can't leave without her. That would have been fine for me, but no, it's like it's locked. Commander, the, the intruder is after the 100 series. I got her. Probably one of the government's dogs. The intruder yeah. disappeared from our sensors near D block. All units are currently patrolling the area. Surround D block. We'll fence them in from both sides. Yes, sir. Uh oh. Surrounding the whole block, this doesn't sound good. How are we going to get off of this, Ziggy? Oh, this looks so familiar to me. No. No, we're not. If we're in sewers while this is going on, there, there's, there's no doubt that this is a huge reference to Xenogears.